In the carbon cycle video, we briefly talked about the consequences of burning fossil fuels, and remember how we said it throws the cycle out of balance. Basically, burning fossil fuels releases CO2 into the atmosphere at a much faster rate than plants can fixate the CO2 back out of the atmosphere. Because of this, the CO2 concentration in the environment has been steadily increasing over the past century. So the problem with this increasing CO2 is that CO2 is considered a greenhouse gas. What exactly is a greenhouse gas? Well, when the sun shines onto the earth, some of its rays are used as energy in plants, but some of its rays are reflected back out of the atmosphere. And the job of a greenhouse gas is to basically catch these reflected rays and emit them back into the atmosphere. And these are infrared rays. And infrared rays basically keep the Earth warm. So the greenhouse gases are essentially making sure there are enough infrared rays in our atmosphere to keep the Earth at a certain temperature. And this effect is called the greenhouse effect because the greenhouse gases will let the sunlight in but keep it from going out, just like the glass of a greenhouse. So this should be a good thing. The Earth needs to be warmed to a certain extent to keep organisms happy and ecosystems in balance. But Shakespeare was prophetic with his phrase, too much of a good thing. Because of the increase in concentration of greenhouse gases, too many of the sun's rays are trapped and being returned back to the Earth. And this is slowly heating the Earth above its average temperature. And this is called global warming. This global temperature rise caused by greenhouse gases is called global warming. Contrary to popular media portrayals, CO2 is not the only greenhouse gas that we've been emitting to cause global warming. There are other serious greenhouse gases, such as methane. Methane also contributes to rising temperatures, and since 1750, scientists have recorded an increase of more than 30% in atmospheric CO2 and an increase of more than 140% in atmospheric methane. So activities such as deforestation are also cause for concern because trees are incredibly important in taking CO2 out of the atmosphere, and deforestation has many other detrimental effects on the ecosystem as we talked about in the rainforest video.